is. So we look here. Well, it could be a thermocrete product. Thermocrete and smoke tight look very similar. So, so I'm saying that I'm told it's smoke tight. So okay, cool. It looks like smoke tight. I have no way of knowing the difference between the two, especially on this system where there, it's also been used afterwards. So there's like a blackish coating on it. So at the very top here, we have a smoke tight. And now as we come down the system, we're going to start seeing where it wasn't applied. The white area you see here is a grout between the brick, and you can see the brick is bare here. You can kind of see a coating over there. And now we're, it's right down at this area, if I can get my camera in focus, it becomes more clear that we just don't have a coating at all on these surfaces here. Now this is single wall construction that based on everything I see used to have uh, a mortar coating on it. And as time goes on, the mortar coating becomes deteriorated. The mortar coating... Take a look at that line. That's a grout line. If that were the case, I wouldn't be able to see the grout line. Grout line, meaning you have two brick stacked like that. We're looking at that surface there. Between the two brick is going to be a grout. Based on 80 years of life, the grout starts turning into powder. So it's no longer able to hold the soot. So it falls off, and then you can see the whitish, and that's what we're seeing right here. So, uh, if this had a... If this this it's considered unsafe. If this had a, a coating of the smoke type completely on it, I wouldn't be able to see any lines because it would just be a complete coating. Like at the very top, you notice we didn't see any lines. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up there. Just make, want to make it real clear. You guys know everything we say is being recorded. I just want you to know that. I don't care. I want to make sure you're aware of that. <laughs> see right here? We can't see the lines. because it has a coating on it. Now I'm not saying it's a great coating, but it's a coating at this point. So then when we come down here. So the chimney's unsafe. Well, you know, I, let's, let's not get into that just yet. Let's just talk about what we have in, in, in different areas. Right now, we can see there's a partial coating here. You start coming across here and we can see there's really no coating at all on the system. No hint of there being a coating either. That is a grout and line. But I mean, wouldn't that explain why there's more of a film at the top as opposed to down at the bottom? It's because they focused on the top and the bottom. No, no, no. Based but on no, everything no, I can I see. Was, oh. isn't the, since the soot and the heat is pushing the debris after it's burned, the muscle material up to the top, is it more likely to accumulate at the top of the chimney as opposed to the bottom? Soot actually accumulates more at the bottom than the top. I don't know why that is. But that's usually what happens. That, I mean, I, I, I don't know if I understood what you were saying. It, it well, well, you're saying that there was coating at the top, um, or you're, you're seeing the, the, the absence of grout at the top, but not at, at the lower level. At the very top of the chimney? Yeah. It looks like about three feet. I see a coating of the smoke type. At the very bottom of the chimney, I see a coating of the smoke type. In between, I see inconsistency on it and just complete blank areas. But you do see smoke taken. But you're saying in in, in areas, yes. But not. I don't see smoke tight that tells me a, a job was done. I see smoke tight that tells me at the very bottom we have a seems to be done, but I can't quite tell. And but at the very but and at the very top. I'm sorry. Say it again. Well, you said that you are not seeing evidence that smoke tape was applied in a job, but I'm just checking. Right on this job here, right? On those on many parts of the inner walls, it looks like it was done at the very top. Looks like it was done at the very bottom. Now, granted, keep in mind when I say done, I don't. I'm not saying it was done correctly. I'm just saying I see a, a coating. I see a coating. And then you also see a coating in the middle. So in in a few areas, yes. In some areas. Well, well, well. You you can see it too. We have the 
the grout line, which if there was a coating there, I would not see the grout line. I cannot but, see the grout. But you are saying that you're seeing evidence of smoke from the bottom. At the bottom. And, uh, the bottom. Yeah, yeah. So here's some evidence of it at the upper part. This, this looks to be partial smoke type coating right there. But you can also see the original grout line there. Are you being nice to everyone today? <laughs> I'm always nice. Mm -hmm. So as we bring the camera down, we can see, again, we can see the grout lines. The, again, if we had the smoke type coating done, wouldn't see those grout lines. Now, and you can also see some areas where there's the original mortar coating. It, with it being so black, it's, it's hard to tell exactly what's there. But when you do, when you do a thermocrete or a smoke tight, it's going to last more than just a couple years if it's done correctly. How long? Five, ten years maybe? I mean, I mean we're going to get some sort of life out of it. In this case, it, it looks as if it wasn't even done. I mean, there's nothing here. There's no sign of it here. This isn't my first rodeo or my first chimney inspection where I've seen these smoke tight or thermocrete jobs where someone gets sold something and then just the bottom and the top get done and no one examines their work and then when it does get examined this is what we see. Unfortunately, I, it's not like this is the only one I see like this. When did you write for that? So, well, so you're saying that with those new brooks were replaced, that's where you're seeing the evidence of, of thicker... The new what was replaced? The new brooks. No. I'm not saying that. Take, take a look right there. See this whitish? This is a complete mortar coating only. It's not the smoke tight. So again, if we had the smoke tight done, that wouldn't be able to see that. That's the bare brick. Sorry, okay, so now what, what, I'm sorry, I was going to answer, ask his question, answer his question, but. Are you saying they didn't do a thorough job when they did five you know, years ago? The, the receipt says smoke tight, the flu, and the smoke chamber. Um, the evidence, well, that, that would be, that's, that's minor in relation to what we're looking at. Oh, but you're just stating what was on the receipt. And okay, the okay, and it says a new damper as well. So the receipt, receipt says smoke tight on the flue and the smoke chamber. I see smoke tight at the very bottom of the chimney and at the very top and not much in between. At least not of value for what we're looking for. So if we're to say the chimney was unsafe before the smoke tight job was done, which is what was indicated on there, then we're looking at a chimney that is still unsafe, if that's how we're going to go. Why would it be unsafe? It's a mortar Well, coating? no, no. I, <laughs> I, this, you're my best friend. Yeah, no, you, no, 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 on my, right well, well, no, what I'm trying chimney, to, what I'm trying not to do, <laughs> what, I'm tr what I'm trying to do very specifically right now is just show what we have in relation to what we expected. And then from there, we're going to get the video done, and then I'm going to tell you what you have and okay. what the standards are, and then people get to decide from there what they right. want to do. So with that, um, and I'm willing to totally ask questions, just if, if i got to give a yes or no question, I'm going to say, no, this is not a safe system to use. What? Safety, it's, it's single wall brick. The, the original heat barrier is gone. So with that, we, we're not meeting our, our fire safety standards. Monoxide. Well, mm -hmm. it has to do with heat transference and, and other reasons. Fire, but it's set on fire. The reason for that standard is to make sure the heat doesn't pass through to the, the wood framing of the house to catch the house on fire. Keep in mind, there are, I mean, there are many, many homes that don't meet standards in many, many ways, yet people are still living there, people I are still want alive. You to check. There's one across the street. I have a fireplace over there. I was going to go, wait, but that house is so far away. <laughs> <But> <laughs> okay, so with that. Um, so when we bring the camera down, again, we can see very clear that we have exposed brick, we see grout lines, we see a very incomplete job. Um, and I think that might be being generous in using that term. Okay, so that's it. No, I don't. I'm just okay. going to bring my camera. Th there's really nothing more to tell you on this. Well, what, what, what I can't... So your recommendation is to hire you to do... The uh, no. No, I do not do the repairs. All I do is inspect. I thought you were saying that you compete with the people. No. That they inspect also. In that way, they're my competition. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Notice I put the quotes. I don't believe that they do inspections. But, but again, that I don't believe they do. But that's... Well, um... Let me try and clarify. 
Wait, hold on. You're being recorded. This concludes the video for inspection.